Hey there, kindergarten kids. It's time for today's interactive read aloud. And today we're gonna to begin a new text set called Living and Working Together. Community. When people live and work together, that is a community. The area in which you live, your neighbors, that's your community, your neighborhood. Today we're gonna to be reading the book called Firemen Small. It was written by Wong Herbert Yi. Look at the front cover. Do you think this is gonna be a fiction story or a non-fiction story? It's not gonna be a true story. We see animals in the building and they look like they're looking for help and they have clothes on so I think this story is going to be fiction. Let's read together about Fireman Small. By Wong Herbert Yi. What do firemen do? Firemen have such important jobs. Let's find out about all the things that firemen do and what our main character is going to be doing in our story today. In the middle of town where buildings stand tall, there lives a little man called Fireman Small, the only firefighter this side of the bay. Fireman Small works night and day. So he's the only firefighter He pulls the truck into station number one, number nine, walks upstairs one step at a time, closes the curtains, get into bed, and pulls the covers over his head. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's find out. Ring-a-ling-ding, sounds the alarm. Cat up a tree at Farmer Pig's farm. Quickly out of bed he scoots, jumps into his pants and boots. Ready to go, he slides down the pole. Puts on his helmet and coat below. Sirens sound, lights flashing round. Fireman small, races through town. In the magnolia, squeals Farmer Pig. Tiny cat is clinging to a twig. Neighbors rush to see what's the matter. Fireman Small sprigs up the ladder. The bow breaks and tiny cat falls. Into the arms of Fireman Small. Pig and neighbors all shout hooray. Fireman Small puts the ladder away. He pulls back into station number nine, walks upstairs one step at a time, closes the curtains, gets into bed, and pulls the covers over his head. Cling-a-cling-clang rings the bell. Little Bunny has fallen down the well. Quickly out of bed, he scoots, jumps into his pants and boots. Ready to go, he slides down the pole, puts on his helmet and coat below. Sirens blare, red lights glare, Fireman Small has no time to spare. Means he needs to be fast, doesn't have any extra time. Come quick, Mother Rabbit cries, holding back the tears in her eyes. Fireman Small peers in the well, climbs down to where Little Bunny fell, finds Little Bunny asleep on the ground, brings her back up all safe and sound. Mother Rabbit shouts, hooray! Fireman Small drives back to the bay. Do firemen really rescue people or animals stuck? 
or in a dangerous place. Yeah, they definitely help when people get hurt. He pulls into station number nine, walks upstairs one step at a time, closes the, stir closes the curtains, gets into bed, and pulls the covers over his head. Jingling jing, the phone rings. Bakery's on fire. Can't see a thing. Uh-oh. Quickly out of bed, he scoots, jumps into his pants and boots. Ready to go, he slides down the pole, puts on his helmet and coat below. Sirens cry, lights flashing by. Fireman Small sees smoke in the sky. He hops down from behind the wheel, jerks the fire hose off the reel, breaks the window, knocks down the door, puts out a fire at Bakerman's store. Hippopotamus shouts, hooray! Fireman Small has saved the day. If he saved the day, do you think he put the fire out? He pulls back into station number, you remember? Nine. Walks upstairs one step at a time, closes the curtains, gets into bed, and pulls the covers over his head. Good. Ding-a-dong-ding, -ding, the doorbell chimes. Who would come calling at half past nine? Fireman Small hurries downstairs, opens the door to see who's there. Any guesses? Who do you think it could be? It's his friend stopping by to say, thank you for all your help today. Thank you for making everything all right. Now go to bed and turn out the light. Fireman Small waves goodbye, climbs back upstairs, rubbing his eye, stretches and yawns, crawls into bed, and pulls the covers over his head. Do you think he got to sleep through the night? I hope so. Here's the front and the back of the book. Okay, boys and girls. Can you tell me why Fireman Small's friends came to visit him at nighttime? They wanted to thank him for his help. All that stuff happened in one day. That poor fireman, he was so tired. So they all came to say thank you for his hard work. A fireman, a firewoman, a person who's a firefighter, can be a man or a woman, they are very important and they are very important people in our community. Every community has a fire station and a fire, um, a firehouse or, or firemen or firewomen. The fireman in this story does a lot of different things. He rescues things, rescues animals, he puts out fire, and he helps the people in his community. And that's why we call um, firefighters community helpers because they help the people in the area in which they live or the area around them in the community. So in this story, Fireman Small is the only firefighter in the firehouse. Do you think that that's true at other fire stations? No, one fireman could not possibly take care of everything. A team has to work together to fight fires, to rescue people, and to help people in the community. So in real life, there's a group of people that work together. Do you think that being a firefighter is a hard job? Yes. 
If you're sleeping and there's a fire, you have to wake up in the middle of the night and help put the fire out. That is hard. And that is very important. Why do you think it's important to appreciate the people in your community who help out? Why is it important to say thank you to them? Yeah, you want them to know that you're thankful for the kind things that they're doing and that way they continue to do it. Last question. Why is it so hard for firemen small to go to sleep? He keeps getting calls. He keeps getting um, alerts that someone needs help. Do you think he's going to get some rest at the end of the story? Yeah, it looks like he is to me. Both he and the fire truck look like they're sleeping inside their beds, inside the ground. All right. I hope you enjoyed the story, Fireman Small. Have a great day.